Hey everybody, Anne here and Betty and we're on our way to West Tennessee, Jackson area and I decided to take a stop off for the day at Natchez, N-A-T-C-H-E-Z, National Forest and have a look around and so I'm at the headquarters right now actually and they've got some cages and I'm going to go check them out and see what's inside. Right, what's over here? Hopefully Betty won't be tugging on me. She has been exceptionally annoying me lately, big time. Um, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Empty. Let's see if there's anything in here. Hold up, Betty. Hold up. Hold up. Come on. Is there anything in there? Doesn't look like it. No? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's go over and see. Oh, I see something. I see something. Alright, take a look at this. Sit. Sit, Betty. I don't want to get any closer. I don't want Betty to freak the, the thing out, but... Whoa, check it out. It's just sitting there all nice and calm and pretty. Whoa, that thing is gorgeous. I wonder if I can get closer. I hope that's in focus for you guys. Oh, so cool. I don't think Betty has really seen it yet. I wish I could hold this more steady. All right, let's see if we can find any information about this. All right, Natchez State Park, Birds of Prey Rehabilitation and Education. Looks like, oh, it's a hawk. I don't know my birds. And it's got all kinds of cool information about them. And this one is pretty gorgeous. Let's see if I can get closer. I'm just zooming in now. Let's see if we can get closer without Betty freaking out. Sit, Betty. Betty, sit. And it's just sitting there all nice and regal. All right, Betty. Hang on a second, guys. This hawk is completely undisturbed. All right, let's see if I can, because it's focusing on the fence and not the bird. Look how gorgeous that thing is. Let's see if I can get closer. Look how gorgeous. It's just like, hey, hey dudes, what you up to? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, this is beautiful Tennessee, and you can see kind of off in the distance a little bit the trees, the leaves are starting to change colors, and it's just gorgeous back in here, and it smells so good. Oh my goodness! I actually think this is a horse trail because a guy on a horse just came by, and Betty about had a cow. <laughs> so I'm going to explore a little bit of this. Well, the forest weird. There's a water thing. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Nope. It doesn't. Huh. It's just like a square. The campfire in the middle. I wonder if some people were camping out here or if they just met here. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while. It's overgrown. Interesting. Pretty cool. Man, it's gorgeous back in here. Very gorgeous. I mean, the trees are just so tall, you can barely even see. Well, you can't see the sky. They're just completely filling up the sky. I don't know if there's a river down there. I don't know if I have the energy to go down there because I have to get back up. But it is gorgeous in here. I love it. Ha! I must have rubbed up against something. I'm going to have to check Betty for them, too. Goodness. She doesn't have any. I'm going to have to get these all off. Glad they are not on my skin. And I tell you what, I hate leaving this place. It is gorgeous back in here. There's plenty of campgrounds. Um, the more primitive ones are only $15 a night, but you know what? I'm trying to save money. Uh, I've just been spending a lot of money on gas and oil. I mean, seriously, but 
it was at a nice little stop. I'm glad I did it. And uh, I got a pine cone to remind me of it. <laughs> I love pine cones. I haven't had a pine cone since I was back in California so many years ago. Anyhow, I better turn this camera off because this is a windy road. Okay, I'm just pulling into the Loves uh, just before you get to... Um, Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee, and this one looks pretty nice. There's plenty of green areas for you to walk your dogs. They have a designated dog area, a dog park. Again, the fence is pretty low, but yeah, this is pretty nice looking. I hope the bathrooms are still clean too. I made it here. I'm, I'm in Jackson. I'm at the Love's Truck Stop, and um, I am beat, and it's hot. It's going to be a scorcher today, and for like the next week, it's going to be in the 90s. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well, this is van life. So, yeah, I uh, got my girl over here. She is. She's being good. You know, when I say that she annoys me, honestly, what it is is my patience level has dropped. Not that she's doing anything that dogs don't do. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill out for a while. I'm going to take uh, Betty for a walk. I'm going to check out the dog park, see if she'll jump over the fence. I think I might get a, a bath, take a nice shower in, in the van. I'm not paying 12, 15 bucks for a shower. And uh, I don't know if I'll stay the night here or not. We'll see. Um, I might try and go check out where the Walmart is because I've heard that they're friendly to RVers or van lifers or overnight parkers, whatever. <laughs> I'm just tired, man. I don't know why I've been so tired lately, but I think it's just because when I'm driving this distance and in this van and I mean it's just all been uphill basically uphill down for a little bit uphill and um, it's taxing this van big time but she's doing fine um, you know when she gets up over 60 I mean you can hear it's a it's a loud engine and it's right up in your face right up in this in this cab here is where the engine is so Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to get cleaned up. I'm going to chill out. Uh, I'm going to give CG a text here in a little bit and uh, just figure things out from here. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.